Good day, everyone. My name is Sifu Cicero, and I'm with the School of Chi Energy. And today I have with me Sifu Jones, and he's going to discuss what is your school's most powerful energy exercise and how much would it cost me for just learning that one. Good day, Sifu Jones. How's it going? We often get questions about asking, well, can I just kind of avoid the, the normal stuff you got and just take more of the advanced type of stuff? And a lot of times when they're asking questions like that, they really are not very knowledgeable on how a lot of these type of energy exercises work. And that's because a lot of different energy exercises that you can learn out there are somewhat a physical education type exercise like energy exercises like the five Tibetan rites, you go through these different series of doing different exercises and they consider those energy exercises that will give you a lot more energy if you do them on a regular basis. But the type of energy exercises that we're dealing with are not done in any kind of physical way. They're not hard to do. They're very low aerobic impact on your body and it's more of guiding the energy around more than it is pushing or pulling in this way or that way or doing anything that would push your body in a hard way. And this is because we have found out that these exercises that we're doing or learning to build up, they work just like electricity works. And so as you build them up, they can have quite a wallop to them if you don't do them in the right way. And so the whole first year of our school is about teaching people this difference of what our energy exercises are compared to other energy exercises that other people would teach you out there. Since you're actually building up the nerve fiber system of your body that carries all the electrical messages that your body does and sends to different parts of your body or even outside your body, then this is what you have to learn to do is build up that electrical part in a way that will not be hard on your body but would be easy on you and your body. And if you don't do it that way, then you go through all sorts of pains that you wouldn't think would come out of your own body but invariably does because since they are on the electrical side of your body or these nerve fibers are building up in this kind of electrical capacity way, it really works just like the electricity does anywhere else, and it tends to be on the hot, destructive side. So things that are hot and destructive have a tendency to have pain that will come out of them. And a lot of times when you build up the wrong kind of energy exercises or you're using energy exercises in that particular way where you're just trying to build up your body very quickly. You're not really caring whether what type of energy it is in the first place you're building up. Then you do have a tendency to go right into these types of pain factors. And if you have this mindset of no pain, no gain, this is something learning these type of energy exercises could really hurt a person pretty badly. It's why we really wouldn't teach somebody right out the get-go how to do something like that or give them the, uh, the strongest exercises that we have for them because they would just simply overload their own body. And, of course, they wouldn't really realize that. And yet, in a lot of respects, way back when, when I was really putting this program together, I did do those type of things because everybody wants to go through this type of training in the quickest way. If you can have a shortcut that will knock off time here or there, then absolutely I'm all about that too. But what we really found out is if you shortcut too much of this, you really don't pick up the key principles of how to get it to work for you. And one of the big main things you've got to learn how to do is as you build up larger and larger quantities of chi or this bioenergy up in your body, it has to be on this good feeling side and it has to be cooled down or it simply just gets out of hand, it gets too hot, it hurts, it, all this pain comes out. And to avoid all the pain that can come out of doing these types of buildups, you learn to cool this energy down and we go through this whole procedure in the school about teaching you th that process well, if you were using the very strongest energy exercises that we taught right out the gate and you were learning them, it would put way too much heat out and then your ability to cool down that would be so much harder than if you're only putting out a little bit of heat and then you learn to cool that process down. 
when you're only putting out a lot of heat, it just makes the job so much harder. And then you find that all the different people we've trained, that tends to be the case, that they don't learn this cool process in the beginning, then they really struggle later on as the energy exercises really do go up in power, don't they? Right, Chief for Jones. They do struggle, especially in year two, when they hit the advanced exercises for form training, especially at the superset and advanced superset level. And you said it's all about the first year being the prep year and learning what it is to do these two transfers into biophotons. I have quite a bit of background taking private lessons between 10 and 20 years, not just group lessons, but private lessons. And I came across this method. I had no idea about temperature or good feeling control, nor that it behaved like real electricity (laughs) and that you could clump it together so it formed into something very powerful that can amplify. And that's what it is. I came in with a lot of emotional intensity because I was at an infrared range not knowing that you could build this up to an ultraviolet range. And so, you know, we get a lot of emails and calls and saying, you know, I have all this experience, you know, can I combine it or can I move into year two? And, you know, I kind of explain to them it's worth the patience of learning the prep year and getting this all down, and you will soar in year two because this type of electricity in a form fluctuates, and he is training you right up front how to handle fluctuations. If that doesn't happen, then you could blow down your training, take off too much, and not being able to handle the fluctuations with the higher level exercises. You really do have to condition your body for this. And a lot of people don't think of it in the right way to begin with, that this is electricity that they're building up, and if you don't make it feel pretty good on your own body, then pretty soon it won't feel good on your own body. And then you just have all these pains that come out, and really bad feeling type situations in your body from anything like chronic headaches to like lower back pains, uh, different types of organ pains that you might get from just overloading here or there on your body because they didn't realize that this is what you're really doing when you build up things. And even some of the methods where you're using in Qigong where you're, where you're trying to build up or cultivate energy into a particular power point, A lot of times all you're going to do is just overload those particular areas and then suffer the bad side effects from overloading an area that you really didn't build up and and all the areas around that area were not built up. So a lot of times it just overloads into those less built up areas because that's how electricity actually works. It keeps moving around and it'll keep on conducting to the next thing that will conduct it. And so a lot of times you're not really getting it to go into just a particular area and just stay in that area like they would want you to try to believe when you do different methods like that. Since we understand that your body works in such a different way than what people first knew way back when, when a lot of these type of traditional styles came into being, they didn't have it down where they understood the inside of the body or how it functioned in the way that we do now. So now that we have all this new information that they've come out with, that we know that chi isn't the mysterious thing that's always been done throughout uh, history, it's kind of like this life force energy, and they don't really break it down more than that. We now know it's biophotons and the capabilities of these type of biophotons, that when you do clump them together, it does act just like electricity and you actually can change the attributes to these biophotons, and that's what we're really teaching people in the school. With this better information, you can use it to get the best types of side effects so that you're getting really positive results from doing energy training. And that's really how you want to do an energy exercise. You want something that will energize you, but in the proper way so that you're getting the best side effects. And to just go into and learn the strongest exercise that a school would have and you're not really prepared for it and you haven't went through the steps needed in order to like cool the energy down if you were kicking out the strongest exercise, all you'll do is just get these really bad feeling side effects and then get upset that it's not working in the way that you wanted it to work. But we wouldn't really allow anybody just to go and take it because that would really be harmful for them. And it wouldn't be responsible for us, since we do know and understand how these type of energy exercises work. 
So what we're trying to do is inform them, okay, this is the process, this is how this stuff works, and if you just go through this step-by-step -step process, you can reach these really strong energy exercises that will teach you. Get your body prepared first in order to be able to handle it, and then you'll be amazed at how well everything runs and how smoothly things would run when you learn it in the right way. That's the main reason why we wouldn't really do that or teach a person or just say, okay, you paid it some amount and we're going to give you this type of a situation. No real responsible school would do that. That's one of the things when we do keep getting this type of a question that will come into the school on this frequent basis. I wanted to answer it to those people that they do have questions about stuff like that. The ones that do want to bypass and just shortcut it already more than what we have already. Because if you think about it, we're doing this four-year school in the way that we're doing it, but it really is 30 years of training condensed down in this four years. They're already getting quite a bit of information that is shortcutted up as much as you possibly can in order to still get the essence of and the concepts down so that you're getting the best type of results. To go any faster, you really wouldn't get the good results that we can ensure that they'll go through now. That's the main thing I wanted to go over today and to answer this question for them. Thanks a lot.